sure most of you have already realized that this game is largely more psychological than it is tactical. Most of the world is chase, they're chasing tactics. They think that the answer is in the technique, in the, the, the specific strategies. But that's not where the magic is to be traded. It's in you. The magic is inside of you. It's not in the technique or the tactic. Most of the world never reaches that conclusion. They never realize that. They're constantly focused out instead of focusing here. Trading starts in a way a very spiritual process. That process is the, the act of beginning to improve who you are, to improve your discipline, to improve your level of responsibility, to make you more true, to do what you say you're going to do. That's an amazing human being that can do what they say, because most people don't do what they say. You've heard, probably heard me use this metaphor before, but if you saw a carpenter, if you knew a carpenter was just an amazing carpenter, they could take their tools and build anything from scratch, from nothing, and build beautiful, solid things. And if that carpenter gave you his tools, would you instantly become a carpenter? Hmm? No. Okay. So why do you expect me to give you my tools and that instantly makes you a good trader? See, most people think that. Most people think, I bought Oliver's tools. Now I should be a successful trader. But that doesn't work that way. Just because you have my carpenter's tools, just because you have my trading tools, does not make you instantly a trader. So if you were to take the tools of a really talented carpenter, and you know that doesn't make you a carpenter, but you have the tools of a great carpenter, what must happen for you to become a great carpenter? What has to change, the tools or you? You, you have to change. You have to change yourself into becoming a carpenter so you can make those tools work. So your journey is here. Your journey is the journey of turning yourself into something else. It is not practicing the tactics. It's not the tools. It's the user of the tools. And all of your work has to be on you. This is when you're, that's when the real journey starts. When you realize that, that you work on yourself. So when I say that, people understand. They understand it at least theoretically, but many people don't know where to start. Like, okay, how do I work on myself? What does that mean? So now I want to talk about what that is. You see yourself through your errors, through your mistakes, through your shortcomings. Your mistakes, your shortcomings, your errors are the mirror into your soul. And so your first journey is to identify a mistake to identify a flaw, an error. And you collect these errors because there's not just one error that you commit. 
you usually commit a collection of errors. This collection of errors is you right now. And so once you have this list of errors, you then must spend time determining which error do I commit the most? And let's say you have seven things, seven mistakes you make all the time. You, you repeat these seven mistakes. But which one do you repeat the most? Which one's the biggest? Which one's the which one haunts you more than the others? And then you go to work on killing that error with everything you have. Forget the other six. Doesn't matter. You attack the biggest one first. And all you need to do to kill an error is get through 20 trades in a row without committing that error. If you can get through 20 trades without the error, it's gone. 20 is the magic number. After you get through 20 trades without committing that error, it's gone. You go to the next error. And then you do 20 trades without that one. And then that one's gone. And you kill errors 20 trades at a time. If you get to 16 and you commit the error, you ruin it. Go back to the start and start all you need 20 trades in a row without committing the error. And it's gone. And so in this way, every trade has a purpose, not just to make money, but to kill an error. And so that any moment I should be able to ask you, where are you, Oliver? I'm on trade 16. I'm killing this error. My next trade is the 17th trade. I'm almost done with this error. You should place. You should never be placing a trade without killing something, without it having a deeper purpose. And it will add more depth to your trade. Now, you can't eliminate an error and not change. The very act of eliminating the error is the change. That's what elevates you. That's what makes you a different person. The removal of errors, the removal of mistakes. It's impossible not to be different. If you eliminate one error, you're a different human being. Eliminate two, you're a different human being than the last one. This is the personal journey. Not going from this tactic to that tactic. The journey is eliminating errors, which is changing who you are. You're turning yourself into the carpet.